you so much for tuning into the Alopecia Princess channel. I'm your fellow Alopecia Princess, Action Jacqueline, and I'm super glad that you joined me today. So some of you know that I had a birthday last month and I turned, I turned older. I turned older. Um, I didn't expect to feel the way I felt about it. I just never would have guessed that alopecia would still be impacting my life in such a grandiose way. I can't believe after all these years, I'm still having this conversation about alopecia. I'm still visiting beauty supply stores and asking for wigs in a lighter color. I don't know what I expected. Um, I knew my hair would never grow back and I knew that I would always have alopecia, but somehow I just didn't think it would still be impacting my life so much. Anyway, I just said all that to justify my most recent shopping trip <laughs> in which I purchased a few cute things that I want to share with you. One of them is this amazing wig that I picked up at the beauty supply store. And the other one is a new lip shade. It is by Charlotte Tilbury and we'll talk about it later on. But first let's talk about this wig, okay? So the wig that I'm wearing right now is called Butter Unit 13 by Sensational. You guys know how much I love the Butter Unit line. My favorite is the Butter Unit 6. I'm sure you guys have seen it if you watch me at all. The thing about the butter line that I like so much, of course, is the amazing hairlines. They do a great job at replicating a good hairline. I did do some work to this wig to get it to look the way it does right now. I have a difficult time wearing wigs straight out of the bag because they tend to be a little bit big for me. I have a very narrow face and a small head. So whenever I put on a wig, it just really looks big on me, you know what I mean? So I did do some work to it, but you'll be able to see all that in the footage that I took while I was customizing this wig. Here we have an open wefted cap wig with a lace part and extended hairline. She comes with three combs, two at the temple and one at the nape, and her cap is quite stretchy and good. Guys, this is my Sekido flat iron that I bought on Amazon. Um, I have her set to 280 degrees because I have decided that I don't like the way I look in big bulky curls, so I'm gonna flatten her out. And here I've taken my thinning shears and I am carefully thinning out all that bulk. Look how she came out. Super cute, right? And look at that parting space and hairline. Guys, <laughs> you can't get anything better for $45. Okay, so my final thoughts on this wig. I love the texture. I like the color a lot. I do wish it was a little lighter. I felt like it was very, very dense. And as you saw in the footage earlier, I did have to thin it out quite a bit. Um, so this, unfortunately, was not my dream wig. I can't just take it out of the bag and put it on my head like I can the Buddy Unit 6. Um, but I've never felt more connected to my sisters than I do while wearing this wig. This is the kind of hair I would have had if the hair that I had on my head when I was 10 stayed there, you know, because I used to have a lot of thick hair and it was pretty close to this color, maybe just a tad darker. Um, my sisters both have hair very similar to this. Uh, my one sister has jet black hair and the other sister has um, also jet black hair, but she, she colors it so it's a little lighter and it looks so much like this. So I always look to them as reference to how my hair is supposed to look, you know what I'm saying? And this is the closest I've ever gotten, so I like that a lot. If this wig holds up and I can get at least two full weeks of wear, out of this wig, I would definitely buy it again because it's really pretty, you know? Um, let's talk about longevity of wigs for a second. I know that's always a conversation that I'm having, but um, this wig, I bought it at the beauty supply store for close to $70. Of course, it's more expensive there than online, um, but I'm glad to pay the money for it. We need the beauty supply stores. We need to support them. If you have no hair and you rely on beauty supply stores 
for your maintenance and upkeep, I think it's important to visit them from time to time and spend some money <laughs> so that they can stay open. You know, so I like to go into the store, sample the wig, buy one. And then once I decide that I really like it, then I start buying it online because you could literally get it for like 20 to $25 less. Um, yeah, so it's a good wig. Uh, feels really nice running through the fingers. I get minimal shedding. I don't expect to get more than two weeks out of it, which is fine. If I were to buy this one every 10 days, which is how long I expect this to last, in a month, I only spent like what? $135 versus my Zara wig, which is almost $240 for the month. Basically, I could have fresh hair like this every 10 days for $135 a month. I don't know, that sounds like a win to me consider that, you know, and you might want to run to the beauty supply store. Anyway, let's talk about this fantastic lipstick. So as I mentioned earlier, I am currently going through a midlife crisis. Uh, so what does a girl do when she goes through a midlife crisis? She goes shopping, right? <laughs> I went to Sephora and I actually found exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for the perfect uh, matte lipstick and liner duo. And um, I found it with Charlotte Tilbury and a brand I had never heard of before called Rare Beauty. Um, it, the Charlotte Tilbury that I went with is in color Sexy Sienna uh, from her Matte Revolution line. And the lip liner is in a sweet little color called Kind Words. How cute is that? I've been using these products now for a full week and I can attest that I get a full four hours of rich pigment um, and, and that's while sipping water all day and snacking on crackers and whatnot. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really good product guys and the color is delicious. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope to talk to you again soon. Speak to me in the comments section. Subscribe to my channel. I'm glad you came. I love you guys. Peace.